Good morning, everyone. Uh, today is Wednesday. Um, I have a rehearsal in the evening, and the word executives was thrown around. So um, the event is tomorrow, but tonight they're going to be running through everything. So just keep me in prayer that everything goes well and smooth. Um, but yesterday we talked about God being our first love, as it was Valentine's Day, and we spent a lot of time and money on just showing people that we valued them. Um, we were I wanted to encourage us to also remember God, you know, because he is our first love. It's it's because of him, because he showed us what love was, that we can love other people and that we can sacrifice ourselves for other people. And so today, the thought that um, I wanted to bring up was from Matthew chapter 22, beginning from verse uh, 37. And he said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment. You should love the Lord your God with all of your heart, all of your mind, and all of your soul. As I read that this morning, I was convicted. Man, how much of my heart, mind, and soul does God occupy? How much of my life do I devote to loving God? How much of my day do I devote to spending time with Him, right? If you love someone, you're going to spend time with them. You're going to think about them. You're going to acknowledge them in everything. You want to hear more about what they're doing and what's going on. You want to defend them if people are talking bad about them. And in my own life, I've taken a back seat on a lot of these things. I haven't devoted as much as I, I, I should. The greatest commandment is to love God with every fiber of your being, with your heart, with all of your emotion, with your mind, with all of your intellect, and with your soul, with all that is within you, your entire spirit. Love Him with all of it. All means all. That's all. And so today, let's be intentional as the body of Christ to love God. You know, the holiday season, uh, Valentine's Day is over. But today is an opportunity still to love God. Because every day is a new day to to think about all that he has done, to think about all he's going to do, to think about how he's shaping um, the situations, how he's shaping our lives. And so today, let's love him with all of our heart, with all of our mind, and with all of our soul. Have a great day, guys, and I will see you tomorrow.